Well, hello to P, uh, 1P. Uh, our topic today is integers and our goal, I can write integer operations without a double sign and then add or subtract using a number line and or the cancellation effect. So we're looking at adding and subtracting integers and I want you to remember the number line and remember that any movement forward on the number line um, or what we can say to the right on the number line uh, is a positive movement. Um, when we add things, we go forwards on the number line. Uh, and converse to that, going backwards on the number line is the minus operation. So any movement to the left on the number line is a negative movement that results in us going backwards. Um, so let's represent simple addition and subtraction on a number line statement. So you can see here, if I have 5 plus 4, this is my starting point, 5. So I start at 5, plus means that I have to move to the right, and this tells me how far to the right. So we start at 5, and we move forward 4 spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces. And that brings us to 9, so that gives us our answer of 9. So that's just how we represent on the number line. Now the problem comes when I start getting double signs in there. So let's have a look at this chart. Here's our example. What if I have negative 5 and I want to add positive 7? Well, let's think about this. What's the net effect of adding positives? If I said I was going to add some positive things into your life, I was going to add some positive things into your life, uh, what would the net effect be? Would that be a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I would, wouldn't mind having a few more positives added into my life. So the net effect is positive. And remember, positive which is represented by the symbol add, is to the right on the number line. Well, we already know that when we move to the right on the number line, we use a positive symbol. So I'm going to get rid of these two things in there and write it as simply a positive, negative, seven, negative 5 plus 7. Okay. Um, so how about adding negatives? What if I add some negatives? Well, if I said to you, I'm going to add some negatives into your life, you probably wouldn't be very happy with me now, would you? So let's get rid of those two signs because adding negatives is not a good thing. It's a negative thing. So its net effect is negative, which we know is a minus, and it goes backwards on the number line or to the left on the number line. So instead of writing those, a plus minus beside each other, um, let's write that as negative 7 minus 3 because the net effect is the same. When I have a positive and a negative together, the net effect uh, is negative, which is to the left on the number line. How about subtracting positives? If I said to you, I'm going to take some positives out of your life. Again, you're probably not going to be very happy with me. That's a negative thing as far as you're concerned. You don't want me to take some positive influences out of your life. And so that is a negative on the number line, which means it goes to the left. And so I'm going to write this thing as 7. And since the net effect is negative, I'm just going to use a negative sign, 7 minus 6. I get rid of these two signs side by side and replace it with the net effect, the negative. And how about subtracting negatives? If I said I was going to take away some negatives in your life, that is actually a good thing. So the net effect is positive. And if the net effect is positive, we know that the movement is to the right on the number line. And so instead of having those two negatives together, we're going to write negative 2 plus 7 because that net effect here is a plus, a positive, which is right on the number line. So we're just going to change it to that positive. Now once you've gotten rid of the double signs, you can just move either backwards or forwards on the number line. This is our starting point, negative 5, and we're going to go to the right 7 spaces. And you can just do that on the number line. Uh, the key here is getting rid of those double signs. So let's, let's have a look at 
a simpler rule, rather than having to think about what the net effect is for every single question, if the signs are the same, if I've got two negatives and two positives, if I am taking away negatives or adding positives into your life, those are both good things. Taking away negatives or adding positives, we replace those two things with a good thing, one positive. If the signs are different, if I'm going to add negatives into your life or subtract positives from your life, the net effect is not good. It is negative, so we're going to put a negative in there. Once you've replaced all the double signs, it's just a matter of moving left or right on the number line. So we're going to take a look at some of these number line questions. Now, the first thing we're going to do is get rid of these two signs. And since the signs are different, we replace them with a negative. Things that are different are generally looked at negatively, whether that's right or whether that's wrong. That is the way we look at it. So if you've got two things side by side that are different, you replace it with a single negative. So now moving on the number line, we start at negative 3. And this tells me I have to go backwards or to the left six spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which lands me on negative 9. So negative 3 subtract 6 is negative nine. The next one, I got to get rid of these two positives. Same, same is good, right? People like things that are the same, so we're going to add. Hopefully you don't even have to use the number line for this one. Four plus three is seven, but we will do that on the number line. It's, our starting point is four, and plus means we go to the right three spaces. One, two, three, which lands us on seven. Now here we're going to get rid of these two negatives. Taking away negatives, that's a good thing, right? A good thing is a positive thing. So we're going to replace those two negatives with one positive. And on the number line, we start at negative 5 and move forward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces, landing us on a positive 2. And lastly, we're going to do this in a couple of steps here because I've got two different things. I'm going to write it without those double sign, so I've got negative 2. Taking away negatives, that's a good thing, so I have to add 4. And adding negatives, that's not such a good thing, so subtract 6. So what this tells us for our movement on the number line, we start at negative 2, and then that plus sign means we go forward 4 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4 gets us to positive 2, and then we have to go backwards 6 spaces, so we go back this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which ends up at negative 4. Now we're going to look at this a little bit easier, a simpler way to look at this. Uh, do you know that positives and negatives actually destroy each other? They're like matter and antimatter. If they get too close to one another, you are left with nothing. Uh, I like to think of this as the cancellation effect. Positives cancel negatives. So think about one and negative one. If we go back to the number line, if I have a positive one on the number line, uh, here's my zero, here's my positive one. If I t have a positive one and I'm going to add a negative one to it, the first thing we do is get rid of those signs so we have one subtract one. And so that gets us back to zero. So when I put one and negative one together, nothing. Not zilp, zitch, boom. Okay. So when adding and subtracting using the cancellation effect, you can still get rid of the double signs. But then after that, you're going to think of each individual term as being a separate entity whose sign is the operation in front of it. So let's get rid of the double signs here. Um, the sign in front of six stays there. So I have negative 6, and when I subtract negative 9, remember subtracting negatives is a good thing, so I add 9 to it. Now let's think of these as two different things. I'm going to think of this as a negative 6, then I'm going to throw 9 positives on top of it. So when I throw 9 positives on top of the negative 6, those 6 negatives are all going to... Okay. But at the same time as we boom away those six negatives, six of these positives are going to go away too. And so the net effect, if these six negatives take out six of those positives, is that uh, we're going to be left with positives, and there's going to be three positives because I took away six of those. 
Now sometimes there is no cancellation effect. You won't always have a cancellation effect. If both terms have the same sign, there's no destruction. They like each other. They're easy to get along with. So take a look at this one. Um, if I have negative 4 and I'm going to add negative 8. Adding negatives, not a good thing. So it means that's a subtraction. So I subtract 8. And now let's think of this as uh, I have a negative 4 and then another negative 8 on top of that. So if I have four negatives and somebody tosses me eight negatives, there's no boom. They like each other. They get along. There's no problem there. So they just kind of live happily as the 12 negatives that they are. So if the two signs are different once you get rid of the double signs, if you can draw circles around them and you have two different things, then there's going to be a cancellation effect and whatever you're left with is going to be whatever you had more of to begin with. Here we had more positives, so we were left with positive 3. Uh, down here we had negatives and somebody gave us some more negatives, so we have we got no positives whatsoever, so our answer definitely has to be negative. Um, and since negatives like each other, positives like each other too. They just live happily together, there's no boom, there's nothing that happens there. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to go through a few of these uh, types of questions very quickly. You might want to put me on pause right now and see if you can do them on your own and then turn me back on and see if you got them right. So let's have a look here. 2 subtract negative 2. 2 negatives make a positive. 2 plus 2. That answer is obviously 4. Hopefully you learned that in, way back in grade 1 or even in kindergarten. Over here, we start at negative 12, and I'm going to add 11 negatives. That's a bad thing, so I'm going to have negative 11. Now here, if we think of these as separate entities, I've got 12 negatives, and somebody gives me another 11 negatives. So that just means I'm going to have a bigger negative number, and in this case, it's going to be negative 23. Now looking down here, I have a 2. I've got two negatives here. They're going to go together to make positive. So I have a positive 9. And then there's no double sign here. It's just simply negative 8. So let's do this in two steps. 2 plus 9 is 11. Minus 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. And hopefully you can just do that. But if you want to think of it as the cancellation effect, we have 11 positives and 8 negatives. So these 8 negatives cancel out 8 of those positives, leaving us with just 3 positives left over. Now taking a look at the next one, negative 1 plus 5. This negative 1 is going to cancel out one of these positives, which means that I'm left with only four positives. And we don't usually write the plus in front of it, but you could. It's not a big deal. Uh, down here, negative 8 uh, minus positive 7. Taking away positives, not a good thing. So this is just minus 7. But now we've got a good thing going on here because negatives like each other. I've got 8 negatives and 7 negatives. Those 8 negatives like those 7 negatives. They're just going to get along real happily as negative 15. Next one, I have negative 10. And then when I subtract negative 25, remember subtracting negatives is a good thing, so it's positive 25. And now let's think of these as two separate entities. I've got 10 negatives and I've got 25 positives. These 10 negatives are going to take out 10 of those positives. And if I take out 10 of those positives, I'm left with 15 positives. Then down here, 5 plus positive 7. Well, Adding positives is just a positive thing, so I'm just going to use a single plus sign, and 5 plus 7, hopefully, you know, is 12. And this one here, 5 plus negative 12, so plus negative. If I'm adding negatives into your life, that's not a good thing, so the overall effect is negative, and it's going to be 12 negatives. And once again, you can think of this as two entities. I have five positives, and somebody threw 12 negatives on top. We're going to get five big booms as these five positives cancel out five of those negatives. And if I cancel out five of those negatives, I'm simply left with seven negatives. And that brings us to the end of our lesson.